first of all, we're going to start off with a little flashback to doing some old-fashioned picking out in Nova Scotia. So here it comes. Okay, so here we are in Weymouth, Nova Scotia. There's a bunch of folk art here, all handmade. Some really cool pieces, a lot of nautical. Moose antlers, go bowl, uh, architectural things, and really, uh, really neat pieces. Could be a good flower pot uh, for fishing. And down there, there's some anchors and uh, some fishing related stuff I picked up, and a few more pieces in the house. So, yeah, we're out in, uh, we're out in Nova Scotia looking for some uh, interesting things to bring back and we'll have the tech to the shop next week. And we're finding uh, two 1700s church pews and uh, an old Akaski account register accounting desk. I've got the inserts and I've got the bottom I'm gonna go pick up and a few other pieces we got from the house and the outbuildings. Just some projecty stuff. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy, but I'm here. Might as well pick it up. So I'll see you guys back. This stuff will all be back at the shop next week. Thanks. Yeah, I found that on the beach in Nova Scotia. It's an old piece of dock wood or something. And I call it the beached whale. Super cool. Looks like a whale. Then I have one of these pieces here that I picked up. And it's a real mystery piece. This thing here. What is this? Anybody know what this is? Let me know. finish taking photos of everything here in the basement and let's take a look around and see what kind of numbers I can think of that will come up with for figure. This one's beautiful. Look at this one. This is a great little table. Made in Denmark. Jurgensen. Absolutely beautiful. So keep an eye out for that auction. It's going to have a lot of different teak pieces and really cool collectibles. This is a beauty. Mm -hmm. 
I am Price Slasher. What? Where did you get Sick. that knife? Just got it from the oh, house. It's heavy. Is that a Ryan piece or what? Yeah, man. Could you make art out of that? I would put it on my wall. <laughs> How much you want for it? I gotta get twenty for it. Oh, tetanus. Yeah. Well, keep it, and if next time I'm around and I got twenty bucks and it's still there, I'm gonna buy that. All right. This is like definitely the oddest thing I have in the store. This corner picture. It's been here since day one. So nobody wants a corner picture these days. Everyone asks about it though. It's a curiosity thing, but I mean, I don't know. If this thing was in Toronto or LA or New York, maybe. This is going to be the third home. Let's see if we have luck in this new spot. Light. Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. I like it up there. I think it's safe. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe. It's gonna have to be. All right, just got an offer in for those Agatha Christie books that I picked up at the thrift store for a hundy USD. I will definitely accept that. Okay, a customer brought in a bunch of lighters for me to sell for them on eBay. And we have Carl's Hunting Lighter, DeFasco, also in Canadian, brushed chrome, a Ronson Veriflame. And then that one here, which is the original automatic lighter. The 1926 Ronson Banjo Lighter. So that's going to be cool to see how these end up for my customer. $102.50. Amazing. And there's another one for 46 63 20 bucks 51 and then look at this one wow 355 dollars Hey Riz, what's up? Fuck that ring, dude. Like, it scares me. What's up? I don't like it. Okay, let me show you some of the great consignment items we have up on eBay for some customers. These are 1960s Redline Hot Wheels. That's amazing. Uh, one guy brought these in, which were really fascinating. record labels Led Zeppelin but they're the record before they actually became the record Led Zeppelin 1 Rolling Stones Live at the Alma Combo and then two Burton Cummings 45s never seen those before those are super cool and then another guy brought in all kinds of like coins these are actually brothel to tokens what's this one say I can't read it. Those are bizarre. And all kinds of Southwest kind of uh, jewelry. Southwest of the USA. This one here is going to be valuable. I'm going to put that on eBay. It's signed. It's a spur polo. Silver. It's pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's see if I can get those antlers with the, with the camera.
Okay, this box was spectacular. There's a lot of interest in vintage Christmas ornaments and it looks like there's gonna be a big box full here. It's nice to see them in the box too. Yeah, they'll, they'll do well on these Christmas ornaments. That's a good find. That's, that's a good box. So he's gonna do really well on this too. Uh, amazing collection of vintage fishing lures. It's all the good stuff. Self bend, head in. They're all in great shape. The hula popper. Yeah, this is really collectible stuff. Another hula popper. Yeah, really nice stuff here for uh, the fishing fans. Then there was uh, a couple of these brand new. They might not be that old, but. The ones in here definitely are. Very cool. Pretty cool license plate collection. Look at that. Ms. Herb. Yukon. Cool, give more up here. 